Welcome back guys, in this video I will be testing AntCloud, Cloud Game Streaming Service on my Shine Pad 6 Android platform. This service is compatible with Windows and Android platforms. No support for iOS at the moment. On Windows, you can run the service using Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome browser. It's only available to users who are residing in India. I am also from India, so latency should not be a problem. Latency mostly depends on our proximity to the servers of the cloud service provider. You don't want the servers to be located in another country. The distance between you and the cloud services servers should be as little as possible. As always, a 5 GHz band Wi-Fi channel or an Ethernet connection is recommended for cloud gaming. I am using Airtel 16 fiber broadband connection, 100 megabits per second plan. And cloud provides us with a virtual PC that we can use however we want, run games or even productivity softwares. Simply boot up the PC, sign to Steam, Epic Games or any other digital platform and download the games that you own. Games listed on their website do not require separate purchase. Only 5 games are listed at the moment. These are casual games, not AAA games as mentioned here. The service supports up to 4K resolution. X input gamepads are supported. I will be using my Cosmic Bus Stellaris gamepad, works out of the box. Here it's mentioned even Bluetooth headsets are supported. Don't need to use any additional software. For streaming games at full HD resolution, they recommend an internet connection with a speed of 50 megabits per second. For 4K resolution, recommended speed is 100 megabits per second. Now I'll be showing you their plans. We'll be purchasing one. Currently, Christmas sale is live on AntCloud's website. They're giving a discount of Rs 150 on all advanced year plans from now until December 31st. Intro plans. Premium one, rupees one ninety nine, offers a playtime of around thirty five hours, up to seven twenty p resolution, RAM VRAM, eighteen GB and six GB, ray tracing disabled, validity thirty days, ultimate plan rupees four ninety nine, offers a playtime of around hundred hours, up to full HD resolution, RAM eighteen GB, VRAM six GB, ray tracing disabled again, validity thirty days, top ups. I'll just switch to the advanced plans why not yeah discounts are available premium plan rupees 449 without discount it's priced at around rupees 600 playtime 25 hours should be enough for testing the service up to full HD resolution RAM 20 GB VRAM 16 GB ray tracing on validity 30 days the ultimate advanced plan priced at around rupees 749 with the discount without it rupees 900 playtime up to 50 hours resolution up to 4k ram 20 gb vram 16 gb retracing on validity 30 days top ups we also have some bundles mystery gaming bundle 3 months plus 2 games price tag rupees 2900 playtime 150 hours up to 4k resolution ram 20 gb vram 16 gb retracing on i have no idea which games will be included with this bundle I'll just purchase the premium plan, advanced one, rupees 449. Select it. 250 GBs of storage is provided on all virtual PCs. Switching from intro to advanced day or vice versa means your data will not transfer to your new PC. Next, these are the different modes of payment supported by them UPI, cards, net banking, wallet. I'll just use GPay, scan the QR code, processing payment, payment done, account will be ready within 90 seconds I'll be running the Android application I have connected my mouse keyboard and gamepad to Shinepad 6 via Bluetooth mode open this is its dashboard here you can see your plan's name its remaining playtime and days list of games offered by them can be accessed from here just 5 games Devil Sun, Guild of Ascension, Splasher Red Templar and Hover back from here you can access your profile to start the virtual PC just tap on virtual PC here power icon can take up to 5 minutes for the PC to start we are in it took about 40 seconds for the virtual PC to start up but I'll be honest it did not start in the first attempt started in the third attempt to access the stream settings you need to tap on the settings cog here stream data real time ping value it's around 30 to 35 milliseconds remaining playtime video FPS 60 if you want to conserve data 
you can run the streams at 30 fps stream quality i'll just set it to high advanced setting you can increase the bitrate supports up to 40000 kbps in order to enable the virtual gamepad just tap on gamepad here see but i'll be using my external gamepad gamepad's layout can be changed by tapping on edit layout there you go place the controls where we want i increased its size just disable it in order to access the virtual mouse need to tap on the mouse icon here move the mouse pointer using this virtual joystick yeah it's not smooth at all simulate left mouse click by tapping on the left click square here simulate right mouse click button by tapping on the right click square for example i'll just tap on right click okay pointer is highlighting here but the option selected is personalize left click yeah it's better to just use your physical mouse access the virtual keyboard by tapping on the keyboard icon above the mouse icon there it is okay i'll just launch steam i'll sign into my steam account by scanning the qr code using steam's android application show you the server location as well server is based in delhi steam started i just launched its system information for this pc cpu intel core processor pro 12 architecture if i'm not wrong this architecture is almost 10 years old now 14 logical and physical processors just scroll down windows 10 check the gpu as well nvidia rtx a4000 performance wise this gpu is equivalent to rtx 3070 ti around 16 gb of vram is available ram around 20 gb total hard disk space available around 250 gb now i'll be downloading cyberpunk go to library currently i'm installing cyberpunk 2077 it charges around 80 gb getting a speed of around 310 megabits per second that's roughly around 40 megabyte per second game should be installed completely in about 40 minutes we'll see download complete this game supports steam cloud saves cloud status up to date all of my save files on my pc will get loaded up upon exiting the game game save files automatically get uploaded to steam cloud servers you will be able to continue the game from the same point where you left off last time even when you run the game on another pc all thanks to steam cloud saves but our save files will also get locally stored on this virtual pc when our subscription expires our data will be automatically deleted from this virtual pc after seven days play i didn't find any setting to enable the services performance overlay so i'll be just using steam's fps counter to show you the fps count unfortunately the size of this fps counter is really very small in game settings i'll just use the ray tracing medium preset dlss upscaler enabled using its faulty preset Frame generation off. This game does support FSR frame generation. And just disable motion blur and film grain. Chromatic aberration disabled as well. Off. High to ultra settings. Apply. Video. Full HD resolution. Windowed borderless display mode. Reflex on. Vsync off. Run benchmark. Benchmark complete. Here you can see the game settings. Server specification. Got an average FPS of around 50. Max FPS 60. Minimum FPS 40. We are in. I am standing right outside V's apartment building. Check out the real world input delay. Minor latency, nothing extreme. FPS is around 40, 40 to 45. Image quality is looking decent. Oh, 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 what was that? It seems the game is stuttering let me check yeah it's stuttering here data consumption is around 1 megabyte per second oh no i mistake shot someone <laughs> oh, hell broke loose again i am observing some stuttering i just drop the stream quality to medium reload the checkpoint reload the same sequence yeah that stuttering is gone now 
but I can observe some noise in the image quality drop in image quality is noticeable data consumption is around 600 kbps not sure why the game was stuttering so much when I had set the stream quality to high should not have happened on shine pad 6 steal the vehicle 40 fps during combat cops will come after me that's exactly what I want makes the game more demanding yeah 36 fps I'll be honest guys not impressed by the performance and I am observing some latency as well should not have happened considering their own overlay shows a value of 30 milliseconds doesn't seem to be 30 milliseconds to me ok I'll show you how to exit the game properly this needs to be done in order to use steam cloud properly just need to press the select key exit the game from the games menu quit back to steam here you can see cyberpunk is still running wait for it to stop there you go cloud status uploading upload complete I'll just open file explorer show you the available free space this PC storage drive 249 GB in size available free space 123 GB it's accessible open browser as well windows microsoft edge I'll just launch youtube there it is enter open my own channel launch the video there you go I'll show you how to shut down the server properly just tap on the settings cog here and then tap on shut down PC time to conclude the video I'll be honest I was not impressed by the performance observed some latency as well I had to drop the bitrate from 40,000 kbps to medium preset in order to prevent the stream from stuttering this made the image quality look a bit soft it was very difficult to navigate through the interface using their virtual mouse I had to use a physical mouse sometimes the virtual PC just does not start even after waiting for 5 minutes you have to restart it again the games offered by them are limited to just 5 titles no AAA games hopefully things will improve in the future but for the time being I cannot recommend the service that's it with the video guys I hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day